हेलो एंड वेलकम टू अनदर एपिसोड ऑफ नथिंग नोट्स बाय द चार्ली गणेश चतुर्थी इज जस्ट अराउंड द कॉर्नर एंड नीडलेस टू से we have to make lord ganesha's most favorite sweet dish which is ukrite modak ukrite modak means uh, sweet uh, steamed dumplings the filling is made of coconut and jaggery and few other condiments uh, to make good ukrite modak you need a good recipe uh, then some technique and lots and lots of practice so let's get started now let's go through the ingredients for our ukrite modak i have about 1 cup of uh, rice flour and uh, i have a uh, half cup of uh, milk and half cup of water some people make it only with water but uh, the milk definitely adds uh, moisture to the covering and also makes it soft so uh, do give it a try if you're not using milk For the filling, I am taking uh, one cup of coconut. This is freshly grated. Uh, it's really important to use freshly grated coconut for this particular dish because uh, these are delicate flavors, and uh, uh, fresh coconut is required for this one. Uh, I'm using half cup of jaggery for one cup of coconut. Uh, half cup would be minimum uh, minimum required for this particular. Uh, Uh, otherwise, it won't be adequately sweetened. Uh, I have uh, a few nuts over here. Uh, this is called uh, uh, charoli or chironji in Hindi, uh, and uh, yeah, I love the flavor of this particular nut in the filling of the modak. Uh, do give it a try if you haven't tried it uh, yet. Maybe just one teaspoon. And I also have, uh, uh, you know, cashew nuts and um, some uh, almonds. Uh, so I am going to just roast them lightly without any heat, uh, and then I am going to just pulse it in the mixer uh, so that it is uh, not too hard and it doesn't disfigure our mortar later when we fill it up and we try to steam it. Um, I also have a little bit of ghee. Uh, very little is used. Uh, maybe one teaspoon for the filling, and uh, a little bit, maybe one teaspoon plus for the cover when we are trying to knead it. Uh, so just keep it handy. I'm going to use a little bit of salt. Maybe like uh, one uh, one half teaspoon of salt would be adequate for the filling. Uh, also a little bit of uh, saffron. I'm going to add into the milk. Yeah, so let's get started. Uh, so I just lightly toasted the nuts that we had seen earlier uh, over a, a pan and uh, without any oil or heat. I didn't want them to be, you know, raw when we added to the filling. Uh, so just toasted them so they are slightly crispy and warm. And now I'm going to pulse them uh, in a mixer and then keep it aside to be. mixed with our filling later on and see i have pulsed the mixture i have also added um, a little bit of cardamom and uh, nutmeg to this mixture and i have added a little bit of sugar so that it uh, mixes really well i'm going to add this to uh, you know the sweet stuffing that we will make later so let's get started so now i um, have made the filling at the moment One teaspoon of uh, ghee, uh, add the coconut and the jaggery, and I have cooked it only till the jaggery melted in this mixture. Then I added the mixture of the nuts that we had made. We had uh, pulsed chironji, uh, then uh, almond, cashew nut, uh, then cardamom, nutmeg, and a little bit of sugar. I have added about uh, one and a half teaspoons of that mixture, and now I'm going to let it sit and. Uh, Let it come together, cook down till I make the cover. So let's get started. We're making the cover. We already made the stuffing. Uh, I have one cup of uh, 
rice flour in it and um, I have taken half cup of water and half cup of milk uh, after boiling I need to make sure that uh, it is still one cup or it has reduced so make sure after boiling this uh, the first boil you measure it again because you need <coughs> Exactly the same amount of flour to the liquid. Our milk and water is boiling. I am going to put uh, one teaspoon of ghee inside that mixture. <coughs> so that there are no lumps and very slowly add the rice flour and keep stirring and uh, once all of it gets mixed together properly you cover it and let it be for about two to five minutes till you start kneading it so let's get started uh, so to make the cover of the ukrize moda or the dumpling the sweet dumpling uh, I have uh, first boiled the water and the milk mixture. I got it to a boil and then slowly I started mixing the rice flour. And uh, when it was completely mixed together, I have covered it. I'm going to cover it for about two to five minutes before I start kneading. Uh, the kneading process takes about five to seven minutes and this is the most important uh, <coughs> part for you to get the dumpling cover to be soft and uh, the melt in the mouth con consistency so <clears throat> they, you cannot use shortcuts in this matter take your time uh, if you're doing it for the first time uh, just take uh, a good five to ten minutes and make sure that uh, it is uh, very very soft and uh, malleable it's very easy to start uh, making dumplings when uh, that uh, the, the texture of the cover is uh, at that stage so let's get started so let's make the modaks i'm going to make a bowl shape try to make the sides recipe from my grandmother and I always uh, remember her uh, whenever I make things at home. Um, I'm so glad that uh, I'm sharing this recipe with you. Our modaks are ready. 
Uh, I steamed them for about five minutes and then took them out on a plate. Uh, I wish that uh, Lord Ganesha brings a lot of peace, uh, knowledge and happiness into your lives. Uh, do give it a try and post picture under this video. Also please like, follow and subscribe to our Nutmeg Notes YouTube channel. See you next Friday. Bye bye.